yeah, this is this is one of the reasons I really this is one of the reasons I really love this game because it's very creative. It makes you think, and it also and it's also a cute as fuck. Oh, uh, what's this? Hello. Oh, Maddie. Our treasure is so valuable, all the dough in the world can buy them. I'll find them for you. But even if money can't buy them, you'll still need to pony up for my services. Yeah, this bold young pirate is ready to take on any adventure, no matter the danger. Maybe you should look into investing. Use your zannies to find more treasure. Yeah, zannies is the is the currency in this game. The the gold coins and the gold coins, silver coins, and and copper coins are like zannies. Yeah, and. And if you find any treasure maps in uh, any of your adventures, you can point Maddie to that, to that place, and and he'll find a nifty little treasure for you. <laughs> just, just something good to uh, keep in mind. All right. Oh God! Two more levels for the price of uh, of, 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 of of one little circlet. Nice. All right. So it's either Flute of the Growling Goblins or three Colossi. I'm gonna go here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, in every level there's uh, there's a different level of uh, Hirami Q you're you're gonna need to get each rank. This is, this is the lowest rank, obviously. Come on, think you can do better. Run of the mill with like a whip, incredible, all time genius, and the one I'm after, unpuzzleable. Each, each level has a different um, set of, uh, of, of, of Hirami Q ranking based on its difficulty. There are, yes, there are some levels more difficult than others. Just, just FYI, they're not all the same level. Shocking, right? <laughs> Alright, so... In here, first thing we want to check is, I guess, the surroundings. Alright, now, now, if you check out this, if you check this out, if, if, if you step on this one, this will happen. No, there is not much of a threat in it right now, but trust me, it will become a threat if, 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 we, if we don't we don't do something about it. Alright, so first thing we want to do is complete the puzzle over here. Uh, according, to th according to this diagram, we are gonna need to put the pieces like so. This piece, like so. I'm twisting my arm here. And this piece, like so. And then pull the lever. Like so. And we got it right. And then this little crank ball. Alright, now check it. Pick it pick it up. This crank will be the key to it, to this level, the crank handle. Alright, now what we want to do is go over here, flip it, and turn this thing around, like so. Dude, this is a game that really makes you think. And yes, before you ask, I have died one too many times in this game. A lot before I finally realized the error of my ways. So, since we got this, the totem head, we can go ahead, put it as a decoy here. Put it on this thing right here. That activates the mechanism. And then, and then we wanna set up the little trap here. Then we want to activate the little... Oh, come on, flip it. Thank you. Alright. Then we want to activate the little trap here. See, the, this, this mechanism the, the drops down the treasure chest, but it also makes the ball go higher. And 
and when the switch downstairs is pressed, this whole trap is activated. It's just so hilarious to watch. There's this, 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 and finally... A huge boulder. See why this is a problem? If we were to get to the church as, as it is now, we, we would have stood on the we would have stood on this little platform, and it would have activated the trap, and we would and we would have get the, we would get smooshed. So this is why you must pay attention to every little detail in here. And this is our second treasure collected. A red jewel goblet. This is the Grawn Goblet. Mm -hmm. It's a lot shinier than I remember it. Rip and put me back together. Sure thing, man. And it'll go to the right. It's always like that. Blue jewel artifacts go to the left and red ones go to the right. So, yeah, I think, I think I have missed uh, an item in both of these levels, but whatever. Now see, our portrait has gotten a lot better since the, since the, since the last, uh, since, since the first adventure. If, if, if you remember, the, the painting in the first adventure was like a child, uh, a child's uh, scribbling. But now it has gotten a little better, and it will go better and better as we go on. It will become a f it will become a full-on masterpiece. And now we're off to a very dangerous level: the flute of the growling goblins. Oh God! I can't tell you how many times I've died in this stage. It's like, oh my God! There are so many. <laughs> You can fuck up in so many ways here. Like, I know it's, it's it's one of the first levels in the game, but but for a young boy who didn't really get the the full controls of the game, uh, that was pretty difficult. And I saw myself die in a lot of hilarious ways. Maybe after I complete this game, I'll, I'll make like a run through of the of all the deaths in this game. I heard they'll bite the heads off of anyone that comes close to their precious che chest. Better prepare our wills in case they find us. Yeah, these guys are dangerous. They cannot spot you, or you are dead. Uh, there's a. Sparkle here. Oh, just a coin. Whatever. All right. So, if you, if you check out this thing, this gondola appears to go to the other side. We can ride it and grab the treasure. But we better be careful. They have a clear view. If we move it, they'll know something's up. But wait. Now they started their worshiping. We can, we can, we should, we should, we should, we should wait for them to bow their heads like that, and then go on and move the gondola. Oh fuck! No, don't move. Yeah, sometimes the we're, sometimes the we just. I'm just holding the we remote, but it doesn't really. Oh, fuck. It's, be it's because I went back a little then. Alright, never mind. Now no, 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 I got to the other side. And now we see that when this guy uh, hits the gong, they all go and eat. Alright, this is, this is a clue. It looks delicious, but I won't ask about the ingredients. Alright, this is a kind of a hint about... Uh, this is kind of a hint for the for for how you uh, get rid of these guys. 
because they'll eat anything off of this pod without even thinking. So grab this little coconut right here. This is this is all we went to the outer side for. 